Hey everyone, it's Ryan here with Transfer Protocol, and um, I want this to be one of the most honest videos that you've gotten from me um, here on this particular channel. I just want to first and foremost thank you guys for being here. Uh, please go ahead and do me a quick favor. I know we're early in this video. Go ahead and just like this video already. Um, again, I'm going to just share some honest parts of my own testimonial. So I, I want this to bless other people. Um, I want you know other people to be blessed by this. So you just going ahead and liking this video. And um, even if you just can stay to the end of this video to hear something, I hope that in some way my testimony and, and my walk here that I'm going to share and explain with you um, will help and bless your life. Um, if you've been here before, please just trust me through this video and um, it's going to help the algorithm um, if you can just stay and watch the whole complete video. So um, if I've added any value to your life, just please, can you commit to doing that one thing for me? Um, that would be greatly appreciated. So um, I remember it was December 24th, 2020. Um, obviously we're in the middle of the thing that was going on that changed everyone's lives. Um, it was literally um, seven days to the date after I w walked out of my last, um, you know, I guess corporate consulting um, positions where I was felt like my life was really just being um, demeaned. Um, I was working in a situation I had um, got cherry picked to come to uh, this company um, and help them with their sales process, help them um, with their organizational structure. And, and essentially by the end of my employment and consulting there, um, I, I was literally doing like the work of like four different people, but I was, <laughs> um, getting paid for only one and, um, it was less than what I deserved. And, um, just something in, in me was just like, I, I just felt in my spirit. Um, I, I had no peace working there. Um, I knew that the, the owner of that particular company, thought less than me and um, m probably had to do with my race and uh, a whole bunch of other circumstances that I probably won't go into in this video. But I know that the Lord had been dealing with me um, to to get things right in my own life. And um, I, I, a week prior, I left, left that job. Um, I believe it was the leading of the Holy Spirit to leave. And um, I just remember um, that day, on the on the 24th day before Christmas, um, you know, just stepping out in faith, um, just literally listening to the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Earlier than that day, um, I was driving around. I was I was literally doing Instacart. Um, I didn't I didn't know what exactly God was going to have me to do. Um, I had previously had a successful you know business um, that at the time I, I didn't understand a lot of things about business, how businesses really worked. Um, I was just a kid who stumbled across something that really worked. Um, I was making a lot of money and I was making a lot of dumb decisions and, um, my life had led me back, uh, to essentially working for somebody else. And it was just, um, it felt like the death of me, um, knowing and tasting, um, you know, an unsurmountable amount of success and here you are like essentially helping somebody else build their build their dream empire and it just it was just really like rubbing me the wrong way and um again like i said the week prior you know i believe god led me to to leave this place and i was sitting here like lord i'm i'm depending on you to provide for me and my family i'm depending on you to um make a way in my situation and um Earlier in the day, maybe it was like 1230 that day, um, I was on Clubhouse and the Clubhouse was like the most popular app at that time. And I just remember hearing the Holy Spirit clear as day telling me to pull my car over and um, enter one of these contests that had kicked off on Clubhouse. And um, I had been hearing about people, you know, at the time people were incentivizing people to 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 join these little contests they were running on 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 clubhouse these were things where people were trying to 
grow their following. And um, I just remember clear as day, just having a, a straight instruction, just the same type of level of instructions that told me to quit, to leave my job and that God was going to take care of me. Those same instructions, that same voice told me to pull my car over um, as I was doing this Instacart order and um, to enter in this contest. So I said, I don't have nothing to lose. Let me follow these instructions. And I just remember pulling my um, car over and um, entering the contest and um, the Holy Spirit telling me explicitly that I was going to win. And um, I, I just got confident and um, I didn't know what, how much money I was going to win. Um, I don't think that was the important part, but just hearing those specific instructions and being obedient in that moment um, and doing it. And I remember sitting at the table um, that same night and the owner of the organization um, of the company, uh, Joshua Crisp, he sent me a message on Instagram and he says, hey man, um, congratulations, you won. And I, I, was, I, I knew that the Holy Spirit had told me that I was going to win and but it was like to see it really happen within just a few hours like less than six hours to see this thing manifest and um it, it was it was just something that was mind-boggling and he's like what's your cash up i'm going to send you the money now and then he sent me the money and this started a process like as soon as the money came to my account i remember the holy spirit was just um showing me a vision of of my future showing me a vision of what was to come with my life what i would be doing and one of the things that the holy spirit just reminded me to do um, from that moment was to tell the truth and um one of the things that i i'm definitely going to do more of on this channel is i'm going to be talking about a lot of the mistakes that i made in my prior businesses um i was not trusting god at all i was calling myself a christian but i didn't I didn't really understand what it meant to really be a Christian and to really walk this life, not the way that I do now. And um, I just remember telling the Holy Spirit at that moment because I was just broken um, in the sense of seeing God deliver on his promise. Um, even though that money, the amount of money that I received for this contest wasn't um life-changing in the sense of like you know it didn't set me up for the for the rest of my life but um it was life-changing in the sense of like understanding that god's hand was on my life and that he was directing me to 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 be able to help and direct other people and um that began a two-year process where i feel like the, the holy spirit has really just been training me and guiding me um for such a time as this and i'm going to be sharing truth on here um, a lot of you guys came on here about information about wealth transfer. And again, I know that my calling and assignment, I've helped other people build their dream lives, their dream businesses. Um, and I know that God is going to do the same for me right now. Um, but that that only happens by helping people like you. Um, and it's telling the truth and, and sharing with you guys, not just the success part of my story and my journey, but telling you guys about the times where I didn't trust God, where things didn't work out the way that I thought they were going to work out. And, and God still provided and God was still there for me. And um, I just want you guys to be encouraged. Um, if God is giving you a vision, if God is giving you anything, any glimpse of your future, um, I want you just to be mindful to be careful to follow the instructions that he's giving you afterwards um god is a good father god is not going to bless you with you know a lot of people are coming on here about wealth transfer and god is not just going to just hand you money irresponsibly and not train you so again if you're on this channel if you're watching this video this video came across you you're probably going through a training process right now god is getting ready to equip you to be able to handle the blessing that he's about to place in your life. God is equipping you to be able to control and to manage and to steward what he's about to place in your life. And I just, I just, I just pray that, that you just allow him to mature you, that you allow him to, to grow you in your spirit and your mind and your thinking and your capacity, because 
it's with these things, with this promise, um, you know, not being able to handle money appropriately can lead your life to destruction. And I've been a witness to that. And, um, you know, I, I chose to not follow God for a long time in my life. And it led to some really bad things. And I'm going to be sharing some of those things and also going to be giving you the, the hindsight wisdom that I've learned um, about this journey, about building businesses, about finances. Um, and again, just trusting God in this whole process and doing it God's way. And, um, you know, I just want you guys to be encouraged. Um, my life is not a perfect, um, right now. Um, I'm going to be more of an open book to you guys. Um, you know, I'm expecting the Lord to do some awesome things in my own personal life and my business. And, um, again, I, I, I understand that in the world that we live in, that doesn't, um, happen without the help of men to to facilitate these transactions that it actually goes through the heart of men and if we're wise we're we should be praying for favor in the heart of men um god is going to do what he's going to do but we live in a world where we we there are people that press buttons there are people that you know sign up for courses there are people who do these things um you know, in our businesses and we, we need people. And, and I think that's why God has been dealing with your heart. God has been molding you into his image so that when he gets ready to push you into the forefront, I believe you're going to be able to sustain and carry the glory that he's going to allow you to carry um, in this season of your life. So um, please don't give up on the process. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a hard process, but I don't want you guys to give up on it. The Lord is going to do something great and mighty in your life. And I just if you're if you are blessed enough to be a, run across this video, uh, I just want to speak life into you and just please share this with someone else. Another believer, please be encouraged. The Lord is going to do something awesome. I've seen God show up so many times um, to not to believe that and not to um, do what he's asked me to do. So I'm going to continue to tell the truth on here. And I pray that you guys um, do the same thing in your life. So bless you guys. See you guys on the next video. Um, tell the truth. God is going to do it. You're going to see the glory of, of the Lord show up in your life. And um, I just want to share that with you guys. And um, I bless, hope your day is blessed. I pray that your March is blessed. God is going to do some amazing things this month. And um, it starts with right now. Um, so thank you guys for being a part of this family. Bless you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.